up guys this is a, a live immediate reaction to the triple g dariachenko fight um uh, i'm not surprised at all uh i figured all along if this fight went to a decision that they would give it to triple g <laughs> basically no matter what and uh sure enough um he got the decision uh now full disclosure uh you know i I think I started watching this fight like in the fourth round, fourth or fifth. Um, I, I was asleep. I was out of it, man. I had a long day and a long night last night. Um, and I woke up during the fight. But, uh, look, I'm not going to say Triple G uh, looked like trash. He did some good work in this fight. I'm not going to say he, did. he didn't, all right? And y'all know I'm not a Triple G guy. But um, I thought Derevchenko did well. And uh, I think it's very arguable that he, he won this fight. Golovkin was, uh, you know, backing up a lot, you know, and when he backs up, he is ineffective. Uh, when he is not uh, able to be the bully, he is not effective, you know. And uh, that tw that 12th round, he definitely lost that round. All he did was hold on to survive because the guy was gassed. He was gassed. He, d he didn't want to take uh, much punches, and he couldn't give much punches. He had a little burst in the beginning, but after that, it, it you know, that was it, man. Um, so, you know, I will probably go back and look at this fight and do uh, do a scorecard, judge it uh, properly, and, and break it down. But um, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I need to watch it again and, and actually score it because uh, I, was, I was in it rooting for Derevchenko. had money on Derevchenko. Um, for anybody that believed in and put money on him, he did us proud. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the payday. You know, uh, once again, Golovkin survives some some kind of way, gets a decision or whatever. He definitely looked up with the, with cutting the guy. Uh, you know, because that, that definitely had an impact on the fight. But Derevchenko, even though he was a smaller man, he was. You know, he was tough. He was in the middle of the ring. He was able to back a looking up. And uh, before I forget, Harvard Doc was atrocious in this fight. Oh man! The only good thing is he didn't take points. But man, he was he was so annoying, so getting in the way of other work. Um, Derechinko was doing brilliant work to the body, man. Wasn't in the fifth round where he hurt Golovkin to the body, and uh, he hurts the guy. And, and Harvard Doc interrupted and actually talking about keep him up. You know. And that might have been the reason why Derek Chico uh, kind of stopped going to the body, man, because the ref kept warning him so much. He probably was in fear of uh, losing points, man. When he he was not fouling at all, you know, he was he was doing great work on Golovkin, and Golovkin was getting exposed to the body for being weak to the body. And Gas Tank again, atrocious, you know. Uh, fifth round, uh, he was he was huffing and puffing from from that point on. You know, Golovkin gas is fast, man. Gas, gas, gas. Triple G. You know, you, you get him into the fourth and fifth, the guy starts breathing heavy, man. He was looking terrible in the corner. Uh, Jonathan Banks didn't seem to be giving great instruction, in my my opinion. Uh, you know, kind of more like uh, rooting him on, you know, with cheerleading type of uh, corner work. <sighs> man, so it's just a quick uh, immediate reaction for me, man. Uh, I'll probably go back and uh, look at it again, but... Um, it's arguable that Derek Chinko won this fight, man. Uh, I I I think he was a better better looking guy in the fight, you know. You know without judging, just kind of going off the action. When they read the decision, I think the crowd um was kind of stunned, kind of not in agreement, you know. But I had a feeling that if this fight, I mean, before before the fight even happened. I had a fight if this fight went to a decision. The feeling that if this fight went to a decision, that they would give it to Golovkin, man. Because he is the name. You know, he's fought, fought at MSG so many times. He's a, you know, uh, you know, his, his name is on the event, Triple G promotions and all that. You know, it's, it's not surprising, the, uh, the decision, man. So, um, damn. That's all I can say, man. And he'll probably never fight Derek Chico again. He gonna probably look for a soft touch or try to fight. Um, uh, he gonna try to fight Canelo, get a big money fight. Uh, Demetrius Andre will put a whooping on Golovkin, man. We'll put a whooping on Golovkin. Um, 
and the odds were crazy, man. I got in on Derek Chinko uh, late Friday, early Saturday morning um, at a plus 380. I'm thinking, man, let me go ahead and get in on it before it, uh, you know, before money comes in on the guy. And shit, Sunday, the guy just became a big and big underdog, man, uh, to the point where it got up to plus 500 on the guy. Uh, Saturday evening, I said, man, let me put some more money on this shit. <laughs> you know, uh it was crazy, man. It was, you know, it was crazy. Triple G old, and this guy can fight, and he he arguably is undefeated fighter, man. Cause I thought he beat Danny Jacobs, and uh, he probably uh, won this fight, man. You know, so I'm gonna go back and uh, look at it again, and score it uh, with some notes, and maybe I'll come back and talk about it again. But this is just a quick rash from me, guys. Um, you know, let me know who you thought won the fight. Seemed like the athlete out of the balloon when uh, then I'm Triple G the winner, man. Not not a lot of booze, but seemed like almost kind of like a, a let down, like uh, like it wasn't accepted or something. It was kind of weird, like a quiet reaction. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it, and uh, I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.